Arsenal 3, Monaco 0. We're within touching distance of finishing within the top eight in the Champions League, which means no extra games, people, in the qualifiers, which we need. Our squad is dropping down to its bare bones. Let's play as more games. I barely passed maths at GCSE level, but that doesn't sound like good mathematics. Now, for me, the main thing is we scored three goals. Hey, we, we weren't set piece FC today. We was attacking down the left-hand side. We scored from open play. We're creating chances. I was looking like, raw. am I licked? Is this the same Arsenal? But on a serious note, we scored three goals. We got the win, which is somewhat a reaction to the Fulham game, which feels like a defeat. Now we move on to Everton. Big up Miles Lewis Skelly. Big performance today. Big performance. Big involvement in the first goal. Like I said, raw. we're attacking down the left-hand side. It's a mad thing, but... Big him up. Big up Ethan for getting a minute. Shout out to Starboy Bakayo Saka for getting a brace. And yeah, we won 3-0. It's all fun and games. We won the game. Really and truly, am I, I'm probably exaggerating, but am I exaggerating people to say we probably should have scored 5, 6, 7? This should have been a memorable game with the greatest of respect to Monaco because I do think the initial period was somewhat even, but I would say we dominated the first half. The only time I was scared of Monaco was in the second half. I was thinking, oh, you know what they've... To be expected, it's only 1-0. Their manager's not going to be happy because while we're not finishing our dinner, Gabriel Jesus should have had a brace. Martinelli should have scored. Based on current form, can we be shocked? I won't lie. Big up the Capitano, Martin Wondergaard. He had a couple shots that didn't hit the target. But when you did well to press and force an error, you should have scored, really. And you know what? Skipping forward to the third goal, you know, Kai Havertz, his goal slash and own goal, we did force two of the goals, which I'm happy with. But I think the first half was moving the ball well. You know, both teams in, in initial stages of that game. I can't lie to you, a lot of people. It felt like, you see, when you're playing football in secondary school, primary school, where a million players are chasing the ball, I think that was the case. But I do think we started well. I can't accuse a single player of saying they didn't play well. I think Kivior, and I'm not a big fan of Kivior on a consistent basis, but if you're going to criticise a man, you have to praise a man. You can only play what's in front of you. Kivior, big performance. Lewis Skelly, Big performance. Thomas Party, he was great. Declan Rice back in the six in the minutes he played looked great. I think I, I, I think there were several players above the level of Mikel Marino. And I think he's getting a bit on a bit of unnecessary harsh criticism game in, game out from Arsenal fans. But I think he was decent, but I think he could have been better. Obviously, it was a better performance from Gabriel Jesus, as I said, but we, he didn't bag. Martinelli didn't bag. Trossard was a bit here and there, really and truly. But yeah, man, first off. I couldn't believe like I couldn't believe we was actually looking like we was going to score consistently in open play. Maybe it's a cultural thing because I don't think the English side. I think the English side set up in these low blocks, as we saw from last season in the champs. Teams don't typically do that against us, which maybe they should. But couldn't believe we weren't finishing our dinner. You know, Gabriel Jesus had a couple of half efforts before we had those ticks those two clear-cut ones. Martinelli probably should have bagged. Martin uh, Martin Odegaard, as I said, should have bagged. Pardon me, a couple of other ch half chances here or there. So I think we should have went into half time at least for three, four up. Naturally, the second half, I don't think the Monaco manager would be effing and blinded in the change rooms, but he would say fix up. And I do think with their, they, I think they brought on Minamino, who used to play for Liverpool. They started to fight back a bit. You're thinking, raw, like at least the first five minutes, 10 minutes max in the second half, you're thinking, oh, is this one of those games where it becomes 1 1? We either win 1 0 or it's 1 1. Fortunately, we obviously got two more goals. So, yeah, all we can do is move on, man. We didn't lose to Fulham, but it did feel like a defeat having dropped points. All we can do is win our games and confirm where the Champions League is concerned, passes to the next round. I don't think we've quite did that now. I think, I think we're third in the table, but everyone's kind of on the same point. So we need to do the business against Dynamo Zagreb and we need to move forward against Everton where anything less than three points, big up Sean Dyche and Everton is unacceptable. So... Yeah, man, we all know how quick and fast these games are coming. We're going to need everyone to step up. Bit, feel a bit sorry for Raheem Sterling, you know, even though we're not necessarily impressed by Gabriel Jesus, Trossard or Martinelli. And you could argue, you know, obviously the substitution to bring on Kai worked. Big up Jorginho, by the way, for his, for his impact. You could argue it worked. For, oh, Sterling could get some minutes, but that just tells you who's rated or not. Either way, we just need to win games and keep it moving, man, really. So, yeah, the key thing is to win our games, avoid those two extra games in the Champions League. Obviously, winning is contagious, so let's just go on a winning run in all the games. We're going to need our full squad available. Hopefully, when we're doing watch-alongs and content where my YouTube channel is concerned against Everton, we've got some players back. So, yeah, man, so far, so good. You know, on paper, perfect performance. The only criticism I would say is it should have been 3-0 no at half-time, man. <laughs>